Hi guys, it's Misty. Welcome to another card video. I have kind of a wild and wacky card to share with you this week. Um, I made this for this week's Simon Says Stamp Wednesday challenge as usual. And our challenge this week is called Layer It Up and we are showcasing products from Paper Rose. Now I'm starting out on some Tim Holtz watercolor paper and I'm gonna do some watercoloring with Distress Inks. So I'm using Ranger Archival Jet Black Ink. And as you can see, my ink pad is quite dry. So I didn't have any refill on hand. So I'm, I'm gonna stamp it three times to get a, a nice good impression. And then we'll move on to the watercoloring. I don't really watercolor with Distress Inks too often. And I wish I would do it more often because when I do do it, I enjoy it. I love the colors for ink blending. So they work really well for watercoloring as well. So I'm gonna use the scattered straw for the giraffe and a little bit of walnut stain. And then I'm also gonna use the hickory smoke for the zebra. And then what did I do for the elephant? I did pumice stone for the elephant. And I'm just taking a, a number one paintbrush, which is the smallest one I have and adding some color. Now this is by far my favorite paintbrush. This is, uh, these are the silver black velvet brushes uh, and they're a little bit expensive, but I think they're worth it because I have a um, container full of other paint brushes, but these are the, the two, I only have two. I have the one and I have the eight and those are the two paint brushes that I always go back to. So, you know, it's worth it to spend a little extra money and save your money on all the other paintbrushes and just get these. Uh, Simon Says Stamp has the number 10. I wish they would carry more of these, um, but right now that's all they have. I am I think I'm going to order a kit. I found a kit of like four of these brushes, and uh, I think I'm going to get those just because they are by far the best brushes I've used. And I don't watercolor a lot, so, you know, it's just my personal preference, but just thought I would share that with you. So I'm trying to add some kind of shadow areas on the elephant, but the problem is, is I needed to wait for it to dry before going over it with more color, and I didn't. I just, I didn't have the patience to do that on this one. And now I wish I would have, because I think I love the layered look of watercolor, you know, when you uh, let a layer dry and you can kind of see uh, different variations of the color, but next time. I really like this pumice stone for the elephant too. It reminds me of the, uh, the warm grays, like Copic markers, the W colors. So I thought it was perfect for this cute elephant. Yeah, I'm, I'm so done with hearing about politics and, you know, people bashing each other. So I've noticed that I don't watch TV too often, but when I do, I'm looking for comedies. Just, you know, I'm just tired of, tired of the world. I need to, need to uh, hibernate in my little bubble and watch shows that make me laugh. I don't watch TV too often, though. But these guys just kind of reminded me of that. You know, they're, they're having a gale time no matter what's going on around them. We all need to do that a little more often, you know? All right, I'm just going to add a little bit of that pink to the inside of the elephant ear. And I'm going to move on to my zebra. I'm using the hickory smoke for the zebra. It was a, you know, it's a nice cooler gray than what I used on the elephant. And it was just enough to add a little bit of color to the zebra so he's not stark white. Just kind of adding it as a shadow. So I'm just focusing kind of on the bottom of the body and around the head a little bit where I thought a shadow would be. Because it looks like his head's kind of turned a little bit. And that's all I'm going to do to the zebra. Actually, I add a little bit of the pink to the tongue and the ears. I really wish I would have purchased the die, the matching die for this stamp set, but I didn't. And so I'm just going to use this kind of cool, uh, it's a mod rectangle stacks die by my, my favorite things. And I just thought it framed these guys nicely. So the pattern paper I'm using is from Doodlebug Designs and it's called At The Zoo. 
and I'm cutting it down to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm actually going to add, uh, actually, no, it's four by five and a quarter because I'm going to add one more layer of color. You know, the challenge is layer it up, so I got to add those layers in. I'm adding a couple strips of the foam tape on the back here to pop up my little animals. And see, uh, on the left there, I took a piece of aqua cardstock from my just my stash and cut that one to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I felt like the background was a little too plain, so I'm just adding a little bit of tumbled glass in there. And I'm adding lots of water because I wanted it to be a nice light layer of color. And I'm not sure why I'm staying so far away from the animals. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what my thought process was here, but I'm going to go ahead and fill in some of those empty areas. Get them a little bit closer to my characters here. And then once I'm happy with my sky, I'm going to add a little bit of green below my critters. I'm using mowed lawn here. And I'm going to add in a little bit of the twisted citron. Then I picked out a bunch of fun colors. Now these are all from Simon's Stamp, except for the purple. I ha just had that in my stash. And I felt like the card needed some color. Uh, the images, you know, they're, they're kind of neutral colors, and so I was just looking for a pop of color. This teal adds some color, but I wanted more. I wanted it to be brighter and happier. But a close comparison is the Peacock Teal by Simon Says Stamp. So I'm just using my Gina K Connect glue here to attach those together. And look how happy and cheerful the letters are above this. The happy birthday. Well, you can't really tell, but it does say happy birthday right there. But look how, look how happy that is. I thought that's exactly what I wanted to add to my card was something cheerful. So I'm using my uh, T square ruler here to just make sure I line this up correctly with the two edges that are rounded and two that are square. I had a little bit of a difficult time lining it up correctly, especially against that uh, zebra pattern paper. So I just didn't, I didn't trust my eye. That's why these T square rulers are very handy to have around. I would even go as far as to say that it is one of my must have tools. So once I got that lined up correctly, I'm gonna move on to my letters. I already went, uh, went through and added little bits of foam squares to the bottom of the letters because I wanted just the bottoms to hang off so they didn't cover up my animals. And I'm, then I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue to the top part and glue all those in place. I'm gonna use my ruler again here just to make sure they're lined up correctly. And cutting these little foam squares was quite time consuming, but in the end, I think it was totally worth it. Cause I like how they hang off there and you know just cover up the grassy area and not the bottom of the images. So I'm going to do the same for the top and I just added a little bit of foam uh, to the back of the Y and I'm going to add a little to the P too just because it, it hangs off a little bit. But the rest are good to go with just some glue. Alright, so I got my color but it still wasn't just, it wasn't popping enough to me. It wasn't standing out. so. I wanted it to sparkle and shine. So I'm gonna use my Nuvo Aqua Shimmer Pen and get that sparkle. Now, I, I also have the Spectrum Noir Glitter Pen and uh, the Clear Glitter Pen, and they are very similar to each other. Just uh, Sometimes I just swap it out. It seemed like my Nuvo Pen was getting a little bit dry, so I just swapped it out for the Spectrum Noir. And I do that every so often. Uh, I'll, you know, I'll use the Spectro Noir glitter pen for a week or so, and then I decide to swap it out for the Nuvo glitter pen. So, but they they do do very similar things. They look very very similar to each other. But even the sparkle wasn't quite enough for me for this particular card. Usually, uh, it 
adds a you know beautiful amount of sparkle but I wanted it to shine too so that's when I decided to go over the letters with the uh, Nouveau Crystal Glaze and then it sparkles and shines so it was exactly what I was hoping it would do you know because I, I didn't want the letters to get lost in the wild uh, zebra print background and I was a little worried that they were kind of getting lost even though it's a lot of color but I think the the sparkle and the shine just added that little extra that it needed and I felt like this corner up here was kind of bare so I'm going to add some of these beautiful pearls these are by Studio Katia and they're called Bora Bora and I love the color of them I don't know if they're new or not but I just recently saw them and knew I had to had to add them to my embellishment collection. So I'm adding it to a top folding card base. This is the Nina 110 pound card stock. And what I didn't do on camera is I, I end up adding a little pink bow at, up at the top right corner, um, just to add that extra layer and just another pop of color. I wanted more glitter and more color and, um, which, you know, just another little embellishment. So just adding a little bit of glitter to the ears. And that's pretty much it. That's my card for this week. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you so much each week for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And be sure to head to the Simon Says Stamp blog and see what some of my fellow team members created for this week's inspiration because they're pretty awesome. Uh, you can head to my blog for additional information on this card. And uh, of course, I'll have the list of supplies used down below and also on my blog. Thanks again. Bye.